So here's a fantastic model of the lungs. We're using a bell jar to represent the rib cage. We've got a glass straw, which is your trachea, which branches to form your bronchi. We can't really see any bronchioles here. The lungs themselves are represented by these two plastic bags. And then the diaphragm is that muscular sheet represented by this balloon. So first of all, let's describe an inhalation, a breath in. So here your diaphragm contracts, it flattens. What that does is it increases the volume within your thorax together with the contraction of your external intercostal muscles. By doing this, the pressure decreases within the bell jar, meaning that there's a pressure gradient between atmospheric air and inside the bell jar, meaning that air is drawn into the lungs. So the lungs inflate and the bags here also inflate. But what about an exhalation? This is when you take a breath out. This time your diaphragm relaxes, it becomes dome shaped. As you can see, because it's moved up, that decreases the volume inside the bell jar, inside the thorax, meaning that the pressure increases. And as a result, air is drawn out of the lungs. And we can see that here because the bags have become deflated. Obviously, this isn't a perfect model of the lungs. We don't have anything representing the bronchioles, the alveoli. We can't see any muscles. Instead, we've got a glass jar, but it does represent what happens in a really nice way. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. 